Hi friends! Welcome back. We're going to do story time a little bit differently this week. First, I'm going to show you a book and it's called The Mitten. And this is the book that we're kind of talking about all week this week. That means we're going to have lots of time to look over the story and we're going to remember the characters in the story. We're going to talk about the pictures in the story and then at the end of the week I'm going to have you retell the story which means you're going to be able to listen really good. We're going to talk about the picture several times and then you're even going to have someone else read the story to you and then at the end of the week I want you guys to read the, the book back to me. So I'm going to send you a special video where I'm not talking and just you guys will be able to look along and read along with the story, okay? So the first thing, if you've never read a book before, something different I'm going to do with you today is called a picture walk. Do you guys know what a picture walk is? No? Well, a picture walk, what do you think it means when you're talking about a picture? We're going to look at the pictures in the book and we're going to walk through the story, but we're not going to actually look at any of the words yet. Tomorrow, when you come back, we're going to actually read the story. So first, let's take a look at the pictures and do a picture walk together. So I see on the picture on the front cover, there's lots of animals. And then there's even a little mole coming out of the snow. And then there's a little mitten on the ground. And if you remember from the beginning of the story or the video, I told you the title and the title is right here in red and it says the mitten. But those are the only words we're going to read today. So we know that it's about a mitten and we see that there's some characters in the book or some people or funny animals that are in the book. And that is these characters right here. So let's open our book. This is our front cover. And remember, what's this? called the back cover and this that holds the book together is called the spine all right the author of this book is Jan Brett she adapted it and illustrated it is what it says so our first picture there's lots to take in in this book because there's so much on each page but it looks like our character is this guy right here. He's one of the main characters of the book and he's jumping in the snow and it looks like there's some characters off to the side here too. Looks like there's an old lady over here and she's over on this side too. So remember our picture walk is we're just going to look at the pictures and we're gonna see what we think this story's about. Now I see the characters in the story. I see this old lady right here. She looks like she's knitting something. And then there's a little boy. And he's standing next to a basket with lots of yarn. Hmm. I wonder what she's doing. Now you can see the little old lady is right here. And the boy is climbing a tree. I wonder what he's doing and look what he dropped. Do you see that in the snow? Hmm, I wonder what that's gonna have to do in the story later. I can see something's walking up to his, his glove in the snow or his mitten. Do you know what that is? No? We'll find out tomorrow what that animal's called. Do you know what this is? It looks like a bunny. Yeah. Wonder what they're doing in his mitten. Look at him. There's some more pictures. Look what's off to the side here. I wonder what this means. We have the little boy over here. We have them in the, in the mitten and then we have an owl. Oh look, there comes Mr. Owl. Wonder what he's gonna try and do. Looks pretty cozy in there. Look what else we have coming up. Let's see if this guy comes up in the next page. Is that what it, that's what it looks like, huh? That black and white guy. We're gonna learn his name tomorrow too. I wonder 
wonder what they're all trying to do in that mitten. What do you think's coming next? A fox. You're right. The fox was next. And then, oh my goodness, do you think they're all going to fit? Looks like they're all trying to squeeze in that mitten together. Oh, what about that big old bear? Do you think there's going to be room? I don't know. What comes next? Let's see. They're all in there. And look at this little boy. He's holding on to his mitten. I wonder what he's thinking. <gasps> oh my goodness. What happened? We don't know what happened because we haven't read the words yet, huh? Words are so important to our story. Hmm, I wonder what made them do that. Oh, and look it. The little boy is looking at something. Oh, I think he's going to catch his mitten. I wonder what the story says. That's our picture walk for today. So remember, when you're looking at a story and it's new to you, you can open up the book and look at the pictures. And you can still see quite a bit of the story just from looking at the pictures. That's why we have illustrators, the ones who draw the pictures. They're super important to our story, so that way we know what's going on, right? But, you know, we missed out on a lot of the story because we didn't read a lot of the words, right? So we didn't know what was going on at the end and why they were all why they were all going in the mitten. We don't know why they all fell out. But we did see that the little boy caught his mitten. So maybe that's a good ending to our story. We'll have to see tomorrow. I want you guys to come back tomorrow. We're going to read through it together, okay? All right, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.